What's going on YouTube? So I'm back with the last figure to review from the NECA Predator Series 11. We're going to be taking a look at, this is this is from Predator 2, uh, from the Lost Predators. This is the Battle Armor Lost Predator. So this guy is based off of Predator 2. Packaging is your uh, standard NECA and Predators packaging. You can see here, he's, it says over 25 points of articulation, includes sword, uh, sheath, and throwing disc. And uh, that's the front of the packaging. Ooh, here's the back of the packaging right here. So you can see the uh, little image of the figure and a uh, little bio and the read up. Let me zoom in for you guys so you guys can read up on that. And the bottom, there's the other figures that complete the series. So that's the back of the packaging. Alright, let's take this guy out of packaging and see what he's all about. So here's a quick little 360 look at the uh, Lost Predator here. It's a pretty good looking figure. It's a little different um, compared to the other Predator figures that we have uh, gotten in the past but it's still a still a really nice looking looking figure overall and he does come with a very cool looking short uh, sword and sheath you can see that right there in the back so uh, let's go ahead and take a closer detailed look at this predator all right so we're going to look at the accessories here first so he does come with a, uh, a little throwing disc which is cool it already has the you know the blade the blades extended out it's a little sharp but it's pretty nice it's got a little bit of um uh, detail on there the blue I like the metallic blue on there it looks pretty good but it does look really cool I really like how this one came out so he does come with that of course uh, also he's got his long ass sword which is very this is really this is a really cool accessory right here um, let me see if the camera can zoom in the handle looks very nice the coloring you can even make out a little bit of detailing there in the in the um, the handle area and uh, here's uh, the whole part of the blade, which also just looks really cool. It's got a lot of great uh, uh, detail on it that you have to really see in person. Like all the little like uh, like ridges and stuff it has on there, you, you got to see it in person in order to to really appreciate that. But it is it is pretty sharp, and it is a long sword. Um, and he does have a sheath right here in the back. So when you put this in, it's going to come out in the bottom. So it doesn't cover the whole sword. So he has that, and of course he has a little plasma cannon right here, which you gotta plug into. And I'm not used to the Predators having it on the right side. I'm used to them always having it on the left. So this one does have it on the left, and this one, this one's blaster is a little, uh, a little different looking, but still looks pretty cool. I like how it looks. Very nice. Um, <clears throat> so those are the only accessories that he does come with. So we'll take a close look at the at the at the mask with the helmet. The freaking thing is nice, loaded with a lot of great little details. Um, let's see where you can even how, how close you can even get to this. You can make out the red eyes on this guy look cool first off, but I mean the paint and just all the little like like just you can see make out little wiring and stuff that's in the helmet. But this is just super nice, really really digging the helmet and he's got like a little open piece right there on the tip which also is a little bit sharp looks very cool the uh, dreads in the back usual predator dreads here's his little pack right here which looks very nice it looks like it's also made out of bones if you can make that make it out here like right here it looks like that's like a piece of like uh, maybe some some creature or some uh, human spine could be wrong though. Oh no, it's not. I'm viewing this through my camera, but as I look at it through the bottom, nope, it is not. Looks, it looks like it through the camera though, but I guess it's just a piece of the metal. And uh, over here, there's uh, some more of that silver stuff. I don't know why my camera. I'm viewing it through my my the window here and the camera. It seriously looks like it's like a, a skeletal piece. Um, and then you can see see this one does have a little bit of cables there. Also, it's got some more stuff right in here. I'm not sure if this uh, sheath is removable for the sword. Not even gonna. Uh, I don't really want to force it out. But you can make out some stuff on the inside there. Not too sure what everything is, but the sheath itself looks really, really cool. Very nice. And then uh, the little belt part area, or or kilt, whatever you want to call it looks good as well he's just got a lot of great little detail on him and look at the front part here looks really cool it's like blue with some black and he's got some red right there little little uh weapons i'm guessing those are there and this he has this little part here which all the predators have but uh different colors this one here is a little different too 
this looks pretty cool right here and then there's the knee pads the netting with the uh, this this guy's colored skin is has some green with a little bit of tan the hands look good of course this, these are all just um, reused figures but you know whatever and there's the uh, armor part in the forearms you can see on this one here and there's the bottom of the feet he's got peg holes and there's a close-up on the feet there and the little armor for the shins so that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it for this guy he's not a bad looking figure well I don't actually I don't think I went over the uh, armor he has on his chest there you go if you guys want to take a look at that it looks pretty good very nice yeah, I really like how this one this one turned out. That helmet, though, this helmet looks sick on this guy. Um, as far as articulation goes, it's going to be your standard uh, um, NECA Predator articulation. The arms do go in and out, forward and back. He's got a bend at the bicep. Yeah, uh, doesn't look like the the upper arm doesn't look like it's going to rotate due to this. Um, well, it's a soft plastic. I don't really want to force it, but it looks like. There is a cut up here, so I'm, I'm guessing the upper arm can rotate. The arms, the hand itself can go in and out and rotate. It's got a waist uh, uh, rotation. Head can go up and down and rotate. <clears throat> Legs go in and out, forward and back. Double jointed knees. Upper leg rotation. The foot can go up and down. You can tilt it, go side to side. So it's your standard uh, NECA Predator articulation. But I don't know if these upper arms rotate. I don't think so, but the lower arm does rotate. And then, of course, his little backpack here, which I don't think is removable. This is all like a separate piece, so you can probably take all this off. But the uh, little plasma canister or cannon here does uh, have some articulation. And plus, this guy's sword is really badass. I really like how this came out. And there you have it, guys. This is the NECA Predator Series 11 set. On the right, we got the uh, Thermal Heat Vision Dutch. The left is a Wasp Predator. And today, we're looking at the uh, Battle Armor Lost Predator. Um, what are my thoughts overall on the set? I think it's a decent set. Uh, for all you like predator builders out there, you're going to want to pick this up. You know what I mean? I mean, you're going to want to pick all these figures up to build up your predator army. But I mean, if you guys are just mainly into the main characters, you really don't need to pick all these figures up. I mean, they're cool. Don't get me wrong. They're cool. But if you're trying to save money, you know, just pass on them and get the ones you really, really want. Um, I mean, the cool thing about the middle one, the lost, the, the warrior predator to me, I mean, the sword's cool and then the helmet looks cool, but if, if I wasn't like a, uh, I guess you can say like a completist, I guess I would pass on him. And same with the Wasp Predator. I'd probably pass on him too. Uh, I do like the, the whole accessory with the spear and the um, alien head. Plus the, the colors look on it, look great on him. The Dutch though, the, in my, my favorite figure in the series is the Dutch figure. Uh, if you guys watch my figure, uh, videos, you guys know I'm into translucent figures and I love the colors on this guy. And he is just, he just came out so well done. Just a beautiful figure, um, but overall, I like the set and I do recommend it. Again, if you guys are not completists or just do not care about collecting all the other uh, Predator characters, it's a set you might pass on. But I like this. I like this series. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Got a lot more on the way.